JT explains why city girls cut their performance short in Philadelphia. I be d you know who I am. Long way from cracking cars and pulling scams. That's my favorite part. On a hate bitch troll ass motherfucking whatever. I love that part. Becky with a good hair, you better hear it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> And watch your f***ing mouth. Anyways. <sighs> I just love, like, I've been sitting on no bars for so long. And I, when I recorded no bars, um, I was literally in a place in my life where people will always have so much to say about me. Like, um, she don't got like she just don't like da, da, da. she don't got nothing going on she she da, da, da. so I was in a place of life where I wanted to pop my shit. and I went to the studio thank you Raven I love you so much I went to the studio right and I was very sad that day like I was so 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 sad that day it was a couple months ago and I I, I, I swear to God to y'all I was in Atlanta and I was crying the whole fucking day in a hotel room just off of what people were saying about me on the internet. And I, I can't even remember what day it was. But I was coming down and I was like crying. And I just wanted to go to the studio and talk. And I went to my engineer wasn't even there. I ended up recording with not. And I was just like, can you put on a beat? I just feel like talking to people. <laughs> like I just want to pop my shit and I want to just talk. So it's a part on the song where I, it's like a bridge on the song where I just be so good and I just cannot wait. I feel like in 2023, um, I'm gonna do more of me. Like I'm going to do more of me because I'm so shy. Like I'm so, uh, I don't wanna do that. I don't, I don't, I don't wanna do that. And I just realized in these past, I'm gonna say 40 days, 40 days when I've been on the road, I realized like no matter what you do, people are going to hate on you people are going to talk about you people are not going to agree with what you do or what you want to do or what you like and we are all different fucking people oh second verse to you hating assholes <laughs> raven please, please um but what i realized in these days of me just being able to be on the road and just have time to sit and think like i need to do more of me Everybody is not going to agree with what each other do. Like, it'll be something that somebody do, and I'll be like, I would never do that. But that person will be doing a thing, and I'll be like, well, that's not what I want to do. Or it'll be a guy who's doing something, and another will probably be like, why am I corny, that lame? We are all individuals, and we all should move as individuals. And I am in a place in my life where I feel like I don't care what people think no more like I, I had an era of my life where I care what people think care what people thought and it held me back as an artist as a person like it held me back on stage like sometimes I'd be like oh my god I look so fat like I think I look fat and I'd be like oh my god I look fat I do not need to do that so I'd be on stage still for dinner with me but when I'm home in the mirror I just be I feel like falling in love just having a good time and I feel like 2023 is a year just to have a good time and just not be so upset with myself or with others and just live my life and I feel like everybody should be in that place mm? okay but that's what place I am in my life and I feel like that's what place we all need to be we just came off a hard time like we literally came out of a a lot of people don't have a lot. A lot of people thought they was going to have a lot forever. Imagine all the people that got money during the pandemic and they don't have it no more and they just lost and they just upset right now and they don't know when their next dollar going to come and they had a whiff of a lot of money. No T, no shade. We are in a bad place right now in life. So I feel like 2023 needs to be the year we all let it go. Let go and let money go and just have a good time so next year i am going to drop so many motherfucking verses and freestyles and features for my people who love me so much and there's so many of them and they ain't on the internet 
They be outside and real mother life showing me real mother genuine Think love. So when y'all be on the internet saying nobody don't like you, nobody don't with you, nobody don't like your attitude, nobody don't like, bro, they love me. These people outside be like, JT, you are so inspirational. Like your story, everything about you, like you a real bitch. And that's what I love when a bitch walk up to me and tell me, JT, you a real bitch. I'm a real bitch. I don't, I don't, I can't meet the internet quota. Y'all are fake as on the internet. Like y'all log, y'all log in the internet. Y'all be whoever y'all want to be, and y'all think y'all know people, but y'all have no idea. I can easily log on the internet and be who exactly who y'all want me to be. I can easily lo log on the internet and be likable. I would never be fucking likable to a bitch who already wake up with the idea of not liking me. We are never going to see out of We are never going to agree. But my friends, my fans, my men. So, no bars. will be coming out soon. I think I'm going to do it on SoundCloud. If I don't do it on SoundCloud, I wanted to put it on streaming services. I'll probably shoot a little cute video to it. And I probably will just like, you know, let everybody be in a video and we just have a good time because 2023 is a year of a good time. Y'all make that laughing at me? JT for life. I am not. <laughs> oh my God, what happened in Philly? So, I love Philly. Please do not ever get it confused. It was just like a wardrobe era. Then it was like late. And you know, we have only a certain amount of minutes on the stage. Like for every show because it's a tour. And we had to get off stage. It was not that we just walked off stage. It was not that. And I love Philly so, so much. And that was a big misunderstanding. And hopefully we come back and we have a good time with y'all. But that was not the issue. It was timing. We was not, like, it was timing. It was time for us to get down. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. JC is the GOAT. I am. I am. <laughs> So nobody gonna tell this girl about myself. Nobody can tell me about myself. I'm grown. Nobody gonna tell y'all going off based off of the internet. Y'all don't know me. Y'all ain't never been in the room with me or breathe my motherfucking air. So nobody can tell me about myself. Who the fuck is y'all to tell me about myself? Come on now, be for real. Be 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 for real with yourself. Who is y'all to tell me about me? You don't even baby, you don't even know me. You can't tell me about me. You cannot tell me about me. And yes, I have a little pinky. But when y'all write them long ass paragraphs, it look like rice on black and dirt. I cannot see it, so stop it. Also, I look fucking good. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going to talk to you guys later. I just wanted to talk to the people that love me and not the people who don't like me. If you don't like me, I don't care. I don't care. I realize that I do not talk like, <sighs> please don't look at my tongue because I literally just had this blue stuff. So but I noticed, what did I notice? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't notice nothing. I'm, I'm lying. I just want to hear myself talk. Thanks for tuning in to 9MAG TV.